Okay, so we're back, and her carpool will be coming in a couple hours. So I just wanted to wake her up early so she can make herself some pancakes because she is hungry. I cannot have her going to work starving. That's just not right. Let's fast forward her making her breakfast. Hmm, at least it came out good. She didn't burn it. And uh, I can't believe we're back at 71 with him. For like overall, it's 31. We're still attracted to each other. We have like crushes. And like, I don't know. I just, I'm happy that we're almost back to where we were before. I think we improved our relationship as much as possible though. I mean, I don't know how we can make our relationship better. Like, I'm going to call him when I get back from work and see if he wants to talk. Wait, did she just take out more food? Girl, no one told you to take out more food. Now that's going to go bad sitting there. You're going to have to cook that shit when you come home. Shoot. Wasting your aunt's food. By the way, where the hell is the aunt? This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, we know. Let's go to work. I think I have everything I need to get promoted at work again. My performance just needs to be good. And we'll pick this back up after work. Okay, so she should be back. Here we go. And hopefully we'll hear something about Mickey. Because, uh, oh, she got, did she get promoted again? No, she just did very well at work. Well, that's good. Um, let's call him. Just talk. Because I think we're actually back where we need to be now. So, yeah, we're just talking a little bit on the phone. Alright, so it didn't help us improve anything. We're right exactly where we are. So I don't think there's any way to improve our relationship more. Oh, that food is, is smelly. It's bad. Uh, we're still preparing it. That's probably not the best thing to do. But you know what? No one told her to make it in the first place. So she's going to eat it. Eat it. Eat it all. Because no one told you to take it out to prepare it when you know you didn't have a chance to. So you had to eat bad food. That's on you. And then you got to go fix up your motives and all that kind of stuff. We'll get her back in bed because nothing really else is going on. <laughs> okay, now the phone's going off. That might be important. Come on, answer that phone, girl. Oh, it's Mickey again. What's up, Mickey? What's up, boo? You talking about how you don't like peace and love? He know he calling on me to tell me he love me. I would like to invite him over again, actually. See if we can get him to come over and maybe make out with us a little bit. I'm afraid to ruin things by asking him to make out with us. I will admit, I don't want to ruin everything. But at the same time, what am I supposed to do? It says we need to get back to where we were. We can't get back to where we were if we're not playing tonsil hockey. That's how we were before. So I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to save it real quick, and when I'm done saving it, um, we're going to try to make out. If that doesn't work, uh, you know, of course, we're going to try and rebuild a relationship naturally. If I get bored and don't feel like doing it naturally, we'll do it e-naturally by going back to our original save file. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, here he is. Get off there there. Talk to him. Oh, and look at you in your nightgown. you just putting it all out there, aren't you, Riley? So proud of you. Remember, we said we would make him ours. So that's what we're going to do. That's right. He kissed me the minute I got here. OMG. Come on, we have got to try. I'm just going to charm him a little bit before I try and kiss on him. And, and do other kinds of flirts. Let's try to sweet talk after we charm him for a few times. And it looks like he wanted to flirt with us because he's getting some points for that. He's loving it. Look at him. He's like putty in our hand right now. He wants it. Well, if he wants it, then we're going to give it to him. Let's see how this sweet talking goes after this next charm. Please go well because I don't feel like fighting with this dude no more. <clears throat> Okay, that didn't work. See, I knew it. I knew it. 
Look at that. See? That did not work at all. Oh, we're congratulating him on the engagement thing? Uh, let's go back to the charming and see if the charming works. Okay, charming is working. So let's just charm him and get back to where we were. We do anything else other than charm him, and he gets all pissy about it. So we're just charming him. And it looks like that's the extent of what we can do. All we can do is charm. We can't do anything else. I don't even think there's a way to apologize to him. Like, ugh, it's so irritating that I can't just kiss him. Just want to give him a little peck. Can I just give him a little peck? That's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try and give him a little peck. Yeah, we kissed. Yay. Well, that was nice. And he's and we're feeling attraction to you. Let's try kissing again. I think it's just that he's so angry with me. Like, it's going to take a while before he's not angry at me no more. But let's try kissing again. Because sometimes kissing can make the anger go away. The endorphins and whatnot or something. <laughs> See that we're just gonna keep pecking. See? Oh, it looks like uh, we're stats is going up to uh, 32 for pecking. So we're just gonna keep pecking him then. We're pecking him like some pigeons. Cause Riley is kind of a chicken head. <laughs> uh, we're just pecking and pecking away. It seems to be working. Can we step it up a little bit? Oh, okay, we're doing some romantic kissing now. Well, that's lovely. Let's keep doing that. Oh, my God, we're up to 35 now. Okay, now we know the formula. A little tickling, a little charming, a little romantic and pecking kisses. And we're getting it in right now. Let's fast forward some of this. Okay, I don't know what else to do now. But I think, I think we're, okay, can we get a romantic hug in here? Or is that too much to ask for, romantic hugs? Okay, we're romantic hugging on him. Uh, I don't know what else to do with him. I'm a little nervous to try and do more with him. Oh, it says we can caress him now. Can, then, can we try sweet talking to him? Or will that bring us all the way back down again? Let's find out. We're slowly getting him back, though. Look at that. I don't even think he's mad at us anymore. This is fantastic. Let's hit on him now. Oh, he's, he's loving it. Let's smooch him. And he don't seem to mind, even though he's engaged. Oh, we're at 44 now. Oh, my goodness. I think we actually got him back. He is ours. Okay. That's the way it should be. Because me and you were meant to be, baby. You know it. But what about his marriage? I mean, he's supposed to be engaged to that Agora Mule face hoe. I mean, is he ours again or not? At this point, I could care less. Just knowing that he is in my arms makes up for everything else. So I'm going to let them keep kissing for a while. I don't think, uh, I don't know. Could, could something happen with this? Because it feels like... It's just going up and up, but at the same time, we're not getting the goal completed. Just going to fast forward through some of these kisses and smooches and whatnot. But he's definitely ours again. But we are getting exhausted at the same time. Don't walk away from me unless you're trying to join me in bed because I would like that. But catch me. Yay, he caught her. Yay. He's a child of a that's how you know it's love when they say shut it up. Oh, yay, it worked. Look at that. Look at that. Just being a little persistent. Riley, this is so hard for me to do. I'm so happy that we are able to patch things up. But I made a promise to Agora. <laughs> God. 
Ugh. Why did he have to mention her? What kind of man would I be if I broke that promise? You are kissing on me. You've been catching me when I jumped into your arms. You have been cheating on her for the last three hours. And now you're worried about breaking promises? Seriously? So he's still going to marry her. I like you to have this. It's been with me all my life, but I like for him to be with you now. But wait. Okay, okay cry softly. That's not crying softly. He's leaving. I'm so sorry, but I have to do what I have to do. Don't forget me, Riley. I'll never forget you. How could I ever forget you, my love? Aw, Mickey's still gonna marry that ugly hoe. Can't believe this shit. I can't believe this. Well, I'm getting back in bed then. You know, hopefully maybe one day he'll be able to forgive me. Well, we'll see. Okay, so it's almost time for Riley to be getting up because she has to go to work today. So let's get her in the bathroom and in the shower so she can get all cleaned up. And then I don't really think she has time for food. No, she doesn't. Uh, can we get her a bag of chips or something? Because uh, her, her carpool is going to be here soon. And I know we don't want her being late. Then again, does her job really matter? Does it really? I don't know. I don't think her job matters. She has everything but a mechanical skill. Maybe if uh, we have time, I'll have her read a book when she gets home. I don't know if there will be another uh, goal for us to complete. Because right now, we are just waiting. You know, Mickey told us he wants to be our friend. But, you know, he's, he made a promise to that, you know, horse head looking heifer named Agora that he's going to marry her and he's a man of his word, which I think is sweet that he's a man of his word. But at the same time, um, I'm just better than her. Like, he should be making promises to me. Like, he should say, I vow and solemnly do swear that that hoe is a five and Riley you're at least an 8, you know? Better than a 7. <laughs> Not quite a 10, but that's alright. Then again, you keep eating chips the way you do. I don't know if you, you might get knocked down. Is that the carpool? Yes, it is. Okay. Girl, you gotta put down the chips unless she can finish them real quick. You see? Yeah, it's too late. You gotta put the chips down. Gave her some extra time, but you got to run to your carpool because he will leave without you. And there's no cars. Come on, get in that car. See, you ain't going to be late. She got At least she's in a nice car, not in a sloppy jalopy anymore. So we'll fast forward till she gets off of work, and hopefully there's a new goal when she gets back. Okay, so she should be. Here she is. What the f Dylan, he just popped out of nowhere and kicked my garbage can. Oh, now he picking it back up. Oh. Sh oh, he freaking out. What the hell? Girl, you just gonna read? There's a madman on your lawn. Okay, look, look. Okay, number one, she got promoted. Yay. Um, Riley, you and your aunt have cost me everything. Get out here, both of you. I'm not done with either of you. Wait. Get out, both of you. My aunt hasn't been home since I came back. Like, what's he talking about? Get out, both of you. And now he's saying, what in the world is that lunatic raving about? My aunt is staying with a sick friend. Whoa, whoa, hold up. The garbage can was empty when he kicked it. Why does it keep filling up with garbage? What do I do to him? I'm going to fight him if I can. Nah, nah. You talk a whole lot of shit. Back it up. Talk, talk is cheap, motherfucker. Let's go. I fight you in my work clothes. That's right. Let's go. Oh, damn. Uh oh, Popo. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Is that my aunt? That's him, officer. That's the man that kidnapped. Oh, he. She was kidnapped. He was holding her hostage. What the? Oh, here's a cop. Get him, cop. Oh, the cop kind of cute. Well, hold on a second now. I, I know, I know they're about to fight, but 
Oh, the cop's not that cute. He's cute-ish. He kind of looked like Dylan's twin for a second. Just a little milk chocolate blend. I, I sure look fine. She's smiling for someone who got kidnapped. Was she liking being kidnapped with him? Anyway, oh, Riley, I was so scared. Dylan tricked me into getting a large life insurance policy and then trapped me in his basement. He was going to murder our sheriff? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I want to see this cop beat his ass. Yeah, get him, get him. Why are we looking concerned? The cop got to win. There's trash on my lawn. I'm mad about that. I'm more mad about the trash on my lawn than the fact that all Sharon was in the basement because she shouldn't have just left like that anyway. Come on. Oh, snap. Okay, well, lock him up, sir. He he dropped, he dropped, uh, he put garbage all over my lawn. Arrest him. That's right. Riley, we ain't got time for logic building skills. Do I get a cash reward? For like, you know, who this hoe? Don't be walking across my lawn like, keep walking, bitch. Nosy ass neighbors want to come when the police show up. Like, oh, I'm just going to walk by. I bet you are, bitch. Uh, okay, what the cop said. Don't worry, Miss Harlow. Your aunt t told us everything we need to know. He won't be kicking over trash cans no more. <laughs> Please be careful as he wasn't the only one involved in this scheme. Wait, wait, who else was involved with this scheme? Well, I, I feel safer knowing my trash cans are safe. I'm glad that the cop gave me a guarantee that my trash cans were going to be safe from now on. But why didn't he tell me who else was involved with the scheme? Like, if he's in part of an investigation, oh, maybe he don't know who's in part of the investigation. That makes him a bad cop. Okay. Wow, this is unexpected. I'm a little lost. Perhaps Aunt Sharon can clarify things up a bit for me. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aunt Sharon, you need a spill, bitch. Oh, she eating, though. Well, that's nice that she getting a meal in. Uh, We need to talk, though. We need... Let's gossip. Let's go... <laughs> I said, let's gossip. <laughs> yeah, like, tell me what happened, girl. He had you rope... He had you in rope chains and handcuffs? Oh, tell me about it. It was Fifty Shades of Dylan. <laughs> oh my goodness, Fifty Shades of Green Plum Bobs. Oh, I would like to see that. Oh, snap, Fifty Shades of Sims. Anyway, tell me what happened, Auntie. Tell me all about that. So I said, want me to talk, share, chat. I guess we gotta do the chat. I want to gossip with her first. Let's find out what's going on. Okay. The information is coming in. Dylan kept me locked up in his basement trying to force me to declare him my beneficiary. I went and budge. Oh, snap. No, no, no. I guess I got to pause these because it disappeared. I don't even know what it said now. Shit. Uh, okay. Anyway, it was crazy coincidence that you two apparently have known each other. Wait, my aunt ain't know that I used to date him? Like, my mother never told my aunt. Maybe my aunt was, I mean, I don't know. Because some people aren't close with their aunts and extended family. So, I don't know. Um, But that's her favorite niece. So, she should know. Anyway, uh, using that he planned to marry you, then do away with both of us and keep the money for himself. Oh, my God. He's crazy. Oh, and his accomplices. Who's his accomplice? He's... He even sent you the email in my name. I escaped by using my old army training and went straight to the police. I figured he'd probably be here expecting me to come straight home. Wow. Wait, that's all? That's it? That's all the juicy detail? You can't even tell me about the accomplices? Tell me more. Tell me more. Okay, she's about to tell me something. Wait. One thing he didn't count for was that I swiped his projection TV on the way out. Kind of my way of thanking him. Here, you can have it. Really? So, while fearing for her life, she stole his TV set? Too bad that ugliest woman Dylan was conspiring with isn't here. Just be careful. Sounding like she has something personal against you. She said she'd get you where it hurts the most. Wait, an ugliest woman? Now, I only know one ugly bitch in this town. It's that Agora bitch, ain't it? That ugly hoe. 
Oh, that broke down homely face looking bitch. Yeah, ugliest woman that can only be Agora. That's right. We all know. Well, oh, wait a minute. Fiona's kind of ugly too. Anyway, I have to warn Mickey. I bet Fiona knows where the wedding is taking place. Oh my God. We're going to go crash the wedding, y'all. Agora, bitch. I'm coming for you. Fiona, tell me where he at. Yo, Fiona, where that hoe be? Tell me all about it, girl. I have to get the old Grove Garden and tell Mickey what's going on. I gotta get there and stop. Come on, you girl, we gotta get off the phone. You talking too much. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I gotta get off this phone. Don't you understand? 